In this video, we're going to learn how to use the jQuery UI to create dialogues. Dialogues can be used for uh, several purposes. Uh, they can be used to uh, show a simple uh, alert um, uh, message uh, when the page loads. Also, they can be used to confirm a certain action uh, that we think is important or even destructive. Um, and we want to confirm that the user would like to proceed uh, before the action is carried out. So let's create our uh, first example. We need a uh, div to uh, contain the um, the message of our uh, dialogue. So we're going to create a div after the Microsoft uh, div, and let's give it an ID. I'm going to call it uh, my dialogue. Okay. Um, also, we're going to give it a title. For example, this is a dialogue. So the title is going to be used to give our uh, dialogue uh, box a title at the top of the uh, of the box. We'll see this in a bit. Um, next, we need a so we're going to create a paragraph in there showing the content of our uh, dialogue. So, for example, we can say "Welcome to our page." Okay, so now to create the dialogue uh, using the jQuery UI, we'll need a, a method. So first, let's access the uh, containing div using its ID, which is my dialogue. And the method we need to use here is dialogue. I'm not going to be using any um, options or parameters at the moment. Okay, so let's uh, refresh the page and we can see our dialogue there. So that's the title. So this is what we uh, put in the title, and that's the content, that's our paragraph. Okay, we can change the, the theme so that we can use a different styling. Okay, and let's um, keep this one for now. Okay, now let's say um, we don't want the dialogue to show when the page loads, we want to um, create a button and only when we click on the button this dialog will uh, show up. So let's create a uh, button after the dialog div and let's call it open dialog and let's give it an ID um, open. Okay. So, so first of all, we don't want uh, our uh, dialogue to uh, show up when the page loads. So we're going to need to uh, set a certain property called um, auto open. So we need to set that to false, okay? Which means that the um, dialogue will not show up automatically. And then we're going to write another statement where we access the uh, button. And we set so the button is we're gonna access it using its ID, and then we're gonna use the click method, and we'll define what happens when we click on the button. So we're gonna access our um, dialog uh, div using its ID, my dialog. And we want to open the, the dialogue. So first we need the dialogue method. And this time we'll use a parameter. There is going to be a string and it's saying open. Okay. So if we refresh the page, we've got the button there. And if you click on the button, we can see our dialogue. Okay. Let's style the uh, button using the uh, button method as we have seen earlier. Well, let's style all the buttons, so you access all the buttons like this, and we're going to use the button method. So now it looks better. So if you click on the button, you can see the uh, dialog. All right. Okay. Now let's move to um, confirmation dialogs. So we're going to create. Um, a confirmation dialog which will just um, ask the uh, user to confirm they want to proceed 
before uh, a certain uh, action is um, uh, carried out. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a uh, button saying uh, go to uh, previous page and when the when the user clicks on the button we just show a confirmation uh, box um, where the user is given uh, a couple of choices so they can either cancel uh, or they can just um, proceed with the action and go to the previous page so let's go for this so first of all we're going to create our dialogue uh, div okay so we're going to give it an ID so it's going to be confirmation and also we give, we're going to give it a title um, so the title is going to say leave the page okay so you're confirming whether uh, the user would like to leave the page or not okay and let's put some content there um, so let's uh, put some text there so you will lose all unsaved work are you sure okay um, we can add an icon just before the text so let's put the icon inside a span so you're gonna um, need a class so okay let's let's go for an for a alert icon okay let's go for this one so it's ui icon alert okay so first we need to set we need to use the ui icon class first and then we need the the name of the icon which is ui icon alert let's refresh the page to see we've got our icon there we've got text okay now we're going to create the uh, dialogue uh, the same way we have uh, done for the previous one so So we're going to access the containing div using its ID, which is confirmation. And then we're going to use the, um, the dialogue uh, method. Okay, so if we, do, if we do this, it's going to be a simple dialogue. So it's not going to be a confirmation dialogue. So you can see that. We've got our title there and we've got our content. Okay but we would like to see the dialogue when we click on the uh, second button so we need to create a a button so the button is going to be so we're going to give it an id um, so let's say close page and or let's say go to previous page it's better previous page let's write some text there go to previous page okay let's just refresh okay you can see two buttons there and now let's write some code to say that when we click on this button we show the uh, dialogue so so first we need to access the uh, button okay using its ID so the ID is go to previous page and the event is click and we need to set define the function we need to execute so function okay so this time we need to open the confirmation uh, dialog so as we did for the first one so you're just going to be accessing the um, a containing div using its id and then use the dialog method uh, with the open parameter so our div is confirmation and then Uh, 
right uh, okay this okay so now we're gonna start using some um, parameters inside our uh, dialog uh, method so the first one is gonna be the auto uh, open that we need to set to um, false okay and the next one we're gonna uh, use uh, the model uh, property that we need to set to true so we need this for the uh, confirmation dialogues okay and then we're gonna define uh, buttons we're gonna have inside our uh, confirmation dialog so to do that we need the buttons uh, option and we need uh, curly brackets for the uh, the buttons so every uh, button we, we're gonna add we're just gonna uh, put uh, text that uh, is gonna go inside the uh, button uh, followed by a function to execute when we click on the button okay so you're gonna have a couple of buttons so the first one is going to be saying go to previous page okay and we will define the function in there and the second one we need a comma second one is going to be a cancel button so we just need to use a cancel just like this and also we need to define the function to uh, execute okay let's leave this empty for now and let's uh, make sure that it is working so far so if you click on the button so you can see our uh, confirmation uh, box and we can see our alerts icon so we can do some styling uh, for that so let's style our span using some inline CSS so style equals so let's just make it float left that's better okay so now we're gonna define what happens when we click on each of these buttons so the first one is go to previous page so the statements we need to put inside the function is gonna be window uh, history and the method is back okay and if we cancel uh, all we do we we need to close the uh, the dialog so we need to access uh, this okay and we're going to use again the dialog method and this time the parameter is not open it's close to close the dialog okay so let's try that so if we refresh the page so now if we click on the button so if we cancel it's closed if we click again and if we want to go to the uh, previous page so we click there it takes us to the pre previous page okay okay so that's how dialogues uh, work uh, in the jquery uh, ui in the next uh, video we will um, look at uh, menus